Alright, so we wanted to create a quick video to show you how to get started using Helm to install the HFROXY Kubernetes Ingress Controller. So if you're not familiar with Helm, Helm is the kind of unofficial Kubernetes package manager. Anything that uh, you want to run in your Kubernetes cluster, whether that be deployment resources, services, config maps, uh, pretty much anything you can put into a Helm chart and then install it all at once as a package. So that's what we've done with the HFROXY Kubernetes Ingress Controller. We package it up as a Helm chart. So if you want to learn more about uh, the, the uh, our Helm chart, you can, I suggest you head over to this blog post, use Helm to install the HFROXY Kubernetes Ingress Controller. It's got a lot of good details here about uh, how to uh, how to add our repository, our HFROXY Technologies repository. Uh, how to search for different packages within our, that repository, and then how to install the, the Kubernetes Ingress uh, controller chart. So definitely recommend that you check that out. And uh, so during this uh, little demo, I'm going to just walk through doing that. I'm going to add a repository and uh, just show you, and, and then add our, our chart and just show you how it works. So uh, to start off, you are going to add the HFROXY technology repository. So here is the command for that. It's helm repo add, and then the, the, the name of the repository that you want to give it, and then the URL. So it's located at hfproxytech.github.io slash helmcharts. So I will go ahead and add that. So, okay, so it, said, it says it has been added to my list of repositories. You can use the helm repo list command to list any of the repositories that you've already added. So here you can see that it'll list the hfproxytech repository. So next, uh, you're going to want to search search the repository to see what's available. So, uh, well, actually, before you do that, uh, do Helm repo update to get the very latest of the charts that have been released. All right, so it's got all the latest charts now, and then you can do the Helm search uh, Helm search repo HFproxy. That will search all the repositories for the term HAProxy and uh, return the very latest charts that it finds. So in this case, the very latest version uh, of the app is 1.4.6, and the chart version is actually 1.4.3. So if you wanted to uh, see older versions of the chart, you can add the dash dash versions flag, and that will list uh, older versions of the chart. So, so for example, if you wanted to install version 1.4.5 of the Ingress controller, uh, you would actually go and use the chart version 1.4.2, and so you would install it with the, uh, when you use the Helm install command, you would add the uh, dash version flag to specify a specific chart version that you want to install. So the next thing to install the chart, you will use the helm install command. So helm install, and then give it uh, a name, such as my controller, and then the name of the chart that you want to install. So HFRC tech slash Kubernetes ingress. So this will install the very latest version. And so that's just going to download the latest packages and uh, install them into your cluster. So it's done already. And it gives you some information afterwards. It tells you uh, which service ports have been mapped. Uh, so it exposes port 80 for uh, HTTP traffic, 443 for HTTPS traffic, and 1024 for the HTTP proxy stats and Prometheus endpoints. So you can go there and see the, uh, the live stats, live statistics for HTTP proxy uh, using uh, that port. But those ports are by default mapped to node ports. So you just have to uh, find what those node ports are. And uh, actually you can do that, let me clear my screen here, by using the kubectl uh, um, get uh, services. And here you can see that for the HFROXY Kubernetes Ingress service, port 80 has been mapped to uh, node port 31653 and similarly the other uh, two ports have also been mapped to node ports. So there are options, of course, to, to uh, set it up to deploy a load balancer instead of using node ports or to uh, use a, um, 
a demon set, and, and all of that can be can be set when you're installing that chart. So pretty easy. So now that we have the chart installed, I just want to uh, give you an example of how to install a very simple application that we would then expose with an ingress. So this application here is uh, J Malik Echo Server. So it's just going to actually just echo any HTTP headers that it gets, echo them back. So it's a pretty simple application. Uh, and then I have a service here that exposes that within the cluster on port 80. So I will go ahead and uh, deploy that using kubectl apply dash f and then the name of the file. Okay, so that's that's deployed. And then an ingress object. So an ingress registers the route that you would like to use for uh, external traffic for how is that how that external traffic will reach services running inside your cluster. So in this case, I have defined that uh, any request for the domain test.local will uh, be routed to the service name app-service. And uh, it, you specify here what is the port that the service is listening on, and it just sort of glues those two pieces together, the, the external domain name and the uh, internal service. So I'll go ahead and install that with kubectl apply and the name of the file. And now any traffic that I hit, uh, locally anyway, to test.local, uh, assuming that I've set up the proper DNS names or even set an entry in my etsy.host file will be routed correctly. So as you can see, setting up uh, the HFProxy Kubernetes ingress controller using Helm is really easy. It's really fast and um, probably the best way to get started using uh, the ingress controller. So. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.